Hello YouTube. Hey, it's Dave here with another watch video. This time I want to review three watch straps that I recently received from a company in Germany. This is a website called watchx.de, at least that's how I pronounce it. It's w-a-c-c-e-x dot d-e. And they have some fabulous watch straps and I've uh, reviewed the one in the center when I received it, the uh, brown chrono strap that I uh, placed on my Omega Speedmaster coaxial and just absolutely love the look and the finish and the feel of this particular strap. The quality, uh, as I've said in the previous video, is just incredible. And at the time I made that video I'd ordered the Nitec strap, that's the sort of the nylon uh, strap that you see on the right, and I wanted to show you that today. And then thanks to you guys uh, making some actual purchases based on uh, seeing my previous video, the uh, owner, Mac, uh, reached out to me and as a thank you gift uh, offered me one free watch strap. And so that was uh, just a real pleasure and I told him when I received it I would uh, show it off a little bit and tell, uh, give my thoughts about it. And so that's kind of what I want to do today. And that's the watch strap you see there on the left. This is the Bob Merino Vintage Calf watch strap. This is the Chrono model. And each of the watch straps you see uh, come in so many variations on the website. Uh, some of them are really thick and tapered. Some of them are the same thickness all throughout. Some have uh, sort of a vintage calf. Some are very smooth. Some have, as you see on the right, the, uh, the nylon, uh, really tough uh, material. They have suede, they have um, shark, lizard, they have alligator, and just about every combination, whether you like contrast stitching or no contrast stitching, uh, colored stitching, there's just a number of uh, options that are available to you through the website. So I want to tell you a little bit about uh, the straps today, so let's take a closer look. So here's my Omega Seamaster Professional 300 and uh, my high polished steel bezel. This is um, one of my newer watches, and it's an absolute favorite, even though this dates back to the year 2000. It is an absolute beauty, and I uh, just have been really loving this on the, the bracelet, and it's been very difficult to wear it uh, on anything but the bracelet. And so when, uh, when Mac offered uh, a free strap, a uh, complimentary strap, I decided to get something that would really uh, accompany this watch in be enjoyable to wear on leather and I think this really hits the spot. Uh, this this guy is a uh, beautiful tapering from seven millimeters down to three millimeters so seven here three down to here and this is a 20 millimeter wide and you see the Bob signature on there. I have not yet put this on my wrist I wanted to show it to you uh, just as I got it and you'll see uh, some, some video of that. And you'll see how nicely it is stitched and just what a beautiful texture the leather has. Now this is the vintage um, chrono leather, so it's slightly different calf uh, material than the, uh, the, chrono, the brown chrono that you saw on my Speedmaster, but not different by much. I really couldn't really tell much of a difference. I think on the other colors, uh, especially on the photographs on the website, those uh, that, that material looks a little bit slightly distressed, so it gives it a little more of a vintage look. But uh, personally, I, I just absolutely adore this look. I think this is a perfect combination. And one thing about a strap that you're always looking for is, at least this is what I'm looking for, is this is a, a luxury watch, uh, a qual high quality watch, and, and it's challenging to find an aftermarket strap that rises up to the quality of the watch itself. And that's always a challenge. And what I love about these straps, and the reason I've, uh, this has become pretty much my only one-stop shop for, uh, for watch straps, is that it's really challenging to find aftermarket straps that aren't in the $100, you know, $100 range that have the seven millimeter thickness that really have the bulkiness there that really goes with a dive watch or, or a chronograph. And so I'm just very pleased with what, um, what I have here to go with my Seamaster Professional. Uh, this, let me take a look here, is $34.22 US dollars. And that includes shipping 
And let me just make clear that I've placed three orders so far, uh, actually four, and all of them have arrived uh, in just about six days. Um, I mean, I'm talking about six days from the time the email hits me to the time that it is sitting on my um, front porch. All right, let's take a look at, uh, at the next one. Now, taking a look at my Omega Speedmaster, I have that on the the uh, Bob Marino calf watch band. This is again the chrono model. And the chrono model, what you get with that is the seven millimeter thickness tapering down to three millimeters. And this again uh, is very similar to uh, the one that you saw earlier. The only difference is that's a vintage, um, vintage texture. This is a more of a smooth, solid texture. Again, I didn't see a whole lot of difference. So I think it's the other colors where you see the difference in the vintage. But uh, you can see I've already been pretty rough on this. This is a 21 millimeter lug width and I've really squeezed this in. So I've really had to fight because this is very, this is a very hard material. It's, it's very solid. Uh, so, but once I got it kind of reshaped to fit the lugs, it's been perfect ever since. And I really think it looks like it was absolutely made for this. Let me also say you can buy any of these straps in with different uh, clasp designs. So you can get uh, Panerai, Breitling, Omega, or just the regular traditional clasp. On this one, I just got the traditional clasp because I didn't want to go out and spend money on a uh, on a, an expensive Omega clasp. But what I found for the price of $34, um, this, you know, if this wears out prematurely, and I don't know what really prematurely would be with this because it's very... Uh, very firm, high quality. I find that I've been finding that uh, as much as I love a deployant clasp, it just adds thickness to the back of the the the, the watch on your wrist. So I've I've been kind of going back to the tang buckle and think that um, you know for thirty four dollars, this I think you get years and years of wear. Even pulling this out and back, you know, many times, I've worn this quite a bit, and you can see that I have very little to no wear on there. It's really held up and I'm very very pleased with that. Um, this takes a while to kind of curve into shape and I tell you what I do is I just I, this kind of leather is made to be broken in. I just gently break it in even a little bit before I wear it each time and it's just starting to to form very nicely around my wrist and have no problem just getting a real comfortable fit. And now we have the uh, Bob Marino Nitec strap this one's a little bit different in that it has the uh, Omega deployant clasp. So this is designed for that clasp, the, the lengths and the measurements and all. And this, of course, is not a, an Omega clasp. This is my Christopher Ward clasp that I picked up on their clearance sale for very cheap. Uh, and it just, it, it operates very beautifully. And that's how I use this particular watch, a band with the uh, deployant clasp. And this fits beautifully on the wrist, feels very nice. Again, this is a... Uh, a nylon type material, very, very firm. Uh, you know, when you kind of scratch it, you feel how uh, firm and rugged the material is. This this looks fantastic on my Omega Speedmaster, which is what I generally originally bought it for. But once I picked up the Seiko Monster, I really wondered, did, would there anything other than the bracelet look good with this? And I really think if there is an aftermarket strap that looks good with this, this is it. Um, I love the, the smooth leather on the inside. That feels very good against the wrist. Uh, whether or not this is waterproof, I do not know. Though there is uh, some good rubberized material sealing that off. So I, I think if you took this in the, in the pool, you probably would, uh, you know, you might jeopardize this a little bit. But otherwise, I think it would, it would hold up just fine. So what a, what a great piece. Um, probably one of my favorite straps right here. And it looks great on the wrist. So we'll do some wrist shots and then show you my Rio straps. And we'll start here with the uh, the Monster, Sigma Monster, on the Nitec strap. And you can see uh, it just looks very, very nice there. Um, just enjoy and appreciate the ruggedness of this look, uh, especially to go with the ruggedness of the Monster. So again, as far as uh, you know, the rare few straps that will work with the Monster. This is definitely one of them. Highly recommend the Bob Nitec strap. And we're, here we have the Bob Marino uh, Chrono strap. 
uh, seven millimeter thickness down to three on uh, the Omega Speedmaster. And again, isn't that an, a beautiful, beautiful look? You know, the Speedmaster is hard to beat on bracelets, but so when you take it off bracelet, you want something that's going to look pretty darn good. And between this and the uh, actual Omega alligator strap that I have, uh, these are the two go to straps. That along with the Nitec strap I just showed you. The Nitec strap looks absolutely fabulous on the Omega Speedmaster. And so um, either, any of the one of those just add a real nice touch. So there's the uh, brown chrono. And finally, uh, we have the Omega Seamaster Professional on the Bob Vintage Merino Chrono. And I just absolutely love the contrast stitching and think it just looks fabulous. I have a blue leather strap for this. It's already pretty fantastic. But it doesn't have the contrast stitching. So I wanted, I wanted something that's a little thicker, and this certainly is, going from 7 millimeters down to 3. So this really does match and fit the look of this watch, and I uh, just really think it's a fantastic combination. And finally, I want to close out this video with a look at a one of the um, other brands that are on the watchx.de website, and that is Rios. If you're familiar with Rios as a brand, you know that it's a very high quality strap and this is a a real strap that I wear with my Omega Speedmaster as well 22 millimeters and you can see Rios 1931 and beautiful high quality it's kind of really broken in nicely given a little bit of a textured vintage look but very smooth in quality and so there you have it so there you go. There's a look at four fabulous straps, uh, four that I'm proud to have. I tell you, I have a pile of straps, and many of them uh, I look at with some regret. It's hard to find good straps that don't feel cheap. And so these feel high quality. These are high quality. And Mac, thank you for uh, the gift. I really appreciate it. And I uh, just hope to direct some traffic your way, so uh, let people uh, give a fair look at your uh, offerings. Uh, I, I really appreciate their website. Their website is very well laid out. You can sort by deployment class, by color, by model number, by or model style, by uh, different textures of different straps, by thicknesses. It's just a, a really great tool, easy to look at, and just beware you'll, you'll find yourself spending a long time on that site uh, matching the beautiful straps to the, the watches that you have. So thanks again for tuning in. I hope that you'll give this video a like, and I look forward to seeing you down the road. Take care, and have a great day.